Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. I accomplished all 10 goals I'd written out for myself. But you can only get so much satisfaction out of doing things for yourself. I got the most joy from giving back to the people who had played a special role in my life. In 1993, I made a list of personal goals things I wanted to provide for the people who were close to me. Some people become successful and never think about doing something for somebody else. You got to have a different perspective of what to do with your riches. Don't make it all about yourself. From the beginning, my objective to break the poverty curse in my family wasn't for me. It was for my mother. I sacrificed for a long time. I drove around in a raggedy truck and didn't buy anything for myself until I was able to buy my mother her first house with an acre of land. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So, our brother Jay Prince, as he always does, he keeps it 100 with the people. And he just displays his top 10 business goals, aspirations, his original top 10. And man, I like I like the fact that from the inception of his business aspirations that he never considered I mean he never did not consider his family, you know, his mother uh helping the poor people he had on there putting as many brothers off the street to work. That's beautiful, man. You know, the brother has character, and that's why I, I admire Prince. He's a man of influence, but he's a man of great, great character and morality. And in that is great strength. He's not a very proud man in my studying of him. You, he's not a arrogant or a boastful man. He's a meek and a humble brother, but yet he's so powerful, right? <laughs> Man, man, man! What a what a uh, great trait about our great traits about our brother. The, you know, it's like you can have all the the knowledge, all the wealth in the world, but if you don't have character, the minister says that character is like the boat on which your knowledge and your wealth and all of these different things can float on if you don't have character then all of those extras right your wealth your talent your fame your fortune all, all that stuff will eventually sink right because you won't be able to handle the degree of responsibility the degree of duty that comes with that lifestyle with those riches with that fame so we all have to work to develop our character the brother said before he even got some for himself he took care of his mother how honorable is that brother said he was in a raggedy truck but he took care of moms first. Bought moms a house first with an acre of land. If that's true what he's saying, that's so honorable. Because 99% of us, we do the opposite. <laughs> we go <laughs> we go get, out, get us a house. We go, you know, put on for us first. And the woman who went to Dove's door for us, she kind of like down the line. And sometimes we don't even take care of mom until a long time after we get our wealth, right? Mom still be in the hood, still in the little rink dink house. You know what I'm saying? And we own one. But uh man, it's just beautiful. And I thank Prince for being honest and you know, just teaching the youth. Cause we need more teachers, man. We need more teachers from successful men. So I I, I love brothers like Prince and Master P and, and brothers who teach that are successful right that started from rags and now has riches these brothers are powerful black men and they are signs that if they can do it 
Every single one of us can do it. But it takes vision. It takes being patient. Patience is a virtue. You know, it's very... It's very seldom that you will see anybody come into wealth overnight, hardly, unless you're investing in some type of investment that just explodes and you invest at the right time. Your timing game is on point. Other than that, if it's from a business perspective, you have to plan for that, right? You have to have uh, goals set. You can tell how interested or we can tell how interested we are in our future by the goals that we set, right? It's like having a road map that you can see. But if you're not organized in your desires, if you don't have those goals written down or before you where you can visibly see them in you see, you're using your senses whenever you write down your goals, whenever you're looking at your goals and you say them, right? And then you hear them. You're using your senses. So it's more inclined to jail with you, to stick with you, right? So that's why people say write down your goals, say your goals, look at your goals, right? So brothers and sisters, The point is that you can do whatever you desire. We can do whatever we desire. It just takes overcoming difficulty. You know, it's like you got to outwork. We got to outwork the work. You know, sometimes as an entrepreneur, I function off three, four hours of sleep. You know, I might work 12, 13, 10, 9 Eight hour days at work, come home, eat, then I'm studying or I'm reading something, right? And then I have to do reports. Then I have to manage, manage, uh, I'm involved in other businesses. Like, um, I, I do, I have some Bitcoin accounts that I manage. I'm part of, uh, another business. And that is very, it's very time consuming. You know what I'm saying? Managing those accounts. It could take an additional three hours just transferring funds and doing stuff of that nature. Right? And then I come over to YouTube. I got to read the report, study the report, see what's current. So that only leaves me with about maybe two to three hours of sleep a day. But I got to keep pressing. I can't give up. Oh, I'm tired. No. I got to wake up at 2, 3 in the morning if I want to make videos off 2, 3 hours of sleep. But see, 50 Cent, he said sleep is for broke. Excuse me, my audio went out. But like I was saying, 50 Cent said sleep is for broke people. And when you are living for something, then you really don't feel the drowsiness. You're energized by thought. You're energized by your activity. You're energized by your planning and trying to bring things into reality so that you can achieve a certain level of success. Right? So, there is nothing that you can't do, brothers and sisters. You are the best. The God who created you is the best. And he says in the scripture that everything he created was good and very good. No matter your circumstance, I don't agree, I don't care what degree of poverty you are in, what you are experiencing in your life, how many times you failed. In failure is success if we look at failure properly. Right? All of the greats have failed and they'll tell you it was their failure that led to greater success. Huh? Failure is only failure truly if you deem it as failure. Right? We lose some battles, but the object of life is to win the war. You can only win the war if you learn from the battles that you lose. What was it about this strategic move a decision that I made what didn't I do good enough what can I do better next time 
so that I or we may be victorious. So keep your head up, keep trucking, keep pushing. You can do it. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.